Eyewitness News is tracking Hurricane Irene as it churns through the Caribbean and towards the U.S. As we told you earlier, forecasters say the entire East Coast needs to keep a very close eye on this potentially dangerous storm. And although it's not necessarily a telltale sign of what will happen, we wanted to know how Irene's current track compares to those of past hurricanes that have hit Rhode Island. Our in-depth coverage continues live now with meteorologist T.J. Del Santo. Yeah, New England has a rich history with hurricanes, but the track a hurricane takes is almost always the same, and Irene is not quite following that track. The hurricane of 1938 started out in the far Atlantic and passed to the northeast of the Bahamas, as did many other storms which made its impact on southern New England. Not one storm actually moved through the Bahamas and hit our area. Our most recent hurricane, Bob, stayed to the northeast of the island chain, as did Gloria. Donna and Edna. The closest a hurricane got to both the Bahamas and Rhode Island was Carol in 1954. Right across the property, the pond, and landed uh, parallel to those hedges with no water in the house at all. That's Eileen Reckia describing how Hurricane Carol carried her house a few hundred yards away from the coast in South Kingstown. That monster storm created a storm surge of 12 to 14 feet in Narragansett Bay and brought winds as strong as 135 miles an hour on Block Island. Irene's path is expected to stay a little further west than even Carol's, making it more likely that Irene will first hit North Carolina before coming into the Northeast. Hitting North Carolina first would substantially weaken the storm However, any slight change in the track, and we could be more vulnerable to Irene's full fury. Now, coming up at 6, we will look at another storm, Hurricane Bertha, which did have a track very similar to the path that Irene is currently taking. And Bertha, by the way, hit our area, too, but in a, a much weakened storm. And that's coming up at 6. In the Weather Yard, I'm TJ Del Santo, Eyewitness News.